Hello! Uh, today I'm going to read you a story. Today is a very special day. It's publication day for Mr Boo. And Mr Boo is by Joyce Dunbar and it's illustrated by Peter Horacek, published by Walker Books. Now Joyce Dunbar is one of our favourite authors in the bookshop. Uh, she lives very local to us and she comes in all the time and she buys stacks and stacks of books for her grandchildren and for herself as well. Uh, some of her previous books include the Mouse and Mole series, which uh, is illustrated by James Mayhew. And you can see he's come in and drawn on our wall, which we're very grateful for. James Mayhew is also a fabulous, fabulous illustrator. We've got lots of Joyce's other books, including this one. Tell me something happy before I go to sleep. Now, when my children were very young, and that's a very, very long time ago, um, I used to read this story to them before they went to sleep, and it was a lovely, lovely time. So, um, that it's Joyce, it's, knowing Joyce now is, makes me very happy because um, that was a, had a very special place in our heart. So, I hope you enjoy the story. So, Let's begin with the story. This is Mr. Boo by Joyce Dunbar and Petr Horacek, published by Walker Books today. A cat's tail in the long grass. Mr. Boo. There was once a cat called Mr. Boo. Why was he called Mr. Boo? Because when he first arrived at his new home with Rosie, he poked his head out of the box so suddenly that he made her jump. How do you do, Mr. Boo? she laughed. It was a lot of fun. Mr. Boo liked fun again and again and again. He crept up very silently on anything that moved. He pricked up his bat cat ears and swished his tail. He crouched and stretched his neck until his face loomed very close. His green eyes glittered, his nose twitched, his whiskers bristled. Then he pounced. Boo! Sometimes he did this to wake Rosie up in the morning. It made her jump. Shoo, Mr. Boo, she scolded. Once he climbed into the goldfish bowl because he wanted to play with the fishes. Shoo, Mr. Boo, said Rosie, flipping the goldfish back into their bowl. Mr. Boo was happy all year round. He liked the summer when the sun made the grass shine and the dandelions sprouted everywhere. He liked the autumn when the leaves danced and twirled. He liked the winter with the snow and the warm fires and laps to sit on. But best of all, he liked the spring. In spring there was such a fluttering and flouncing, such a twitching and stirring. Everything moved and Mr Boo, I'm sorry to say, got up to all sorts of mischief. He frightened the baby birds when they were learning to fly. He scattered the baby rabbits when they were taking their first look at the world. He shot the baby owls from their treetops so that the poor mother owl had to rescue them. He was wicked, but he wasn't wicked on purpose. He was just adding to the gaiety of spring, joining in with the fun and frolics. Time passed until one winter came with dark mornings and early nights. Mr Boo slept for longer and longer, more than he had ever before. He finally woke by the twittering of a bird, a bird song and the smell of fresh air. Oh dear. He had overslept and spring was in full spring without him. When he tried to spring into action, he felt achy and stiff. He could hardly squeeze through his cat flap. Poor Mr Boo. He peered into a squirrel hole and tried to say boo 
to a baby squirrel, but his eyes were no longer glittery, so glittery and not at all scary. The squirrel stared back and skipped right over him. He clawed his way to a treetop and tried to say boo to a chaffinch, but his ears were no longer so pointy and fierce. Have a nice day, it chirped. He tried to say boo to a diadem spider, but he was so slow and clumsy. My, my web, said the spider, it's delicate. And when he tried to say boo to the mother owl, she pecked him right on the nose. Ouch! What was happening to me? What has happened to me? pondered Mr. Boo. I seem to have lost some of my pounce. I'm not so much fun anymore. He sloped sadly off home and crept in through the cat flap. Mr. Boo, Rosie cried, where have you been? I've been looking for you everywhere. She scooped him up in her arms and gave him his favourite meal of sardines. When he had eaten them and licked himself clean, she said, look, I've got a surprise for you. Next to his basket was another smaller basket. Inside was a ball of yellow fur. What is it? wondered Mr. Boo, giving it a sniff. The little yellow ball uncurled and sprang to greet him. It was a kitten! Meet Dandelion, said Rosie, and the little yellow kitten went. and look at them playing in the tall grass together. And that is the end of the story of Mr. Boo. Thank you very much for listening. We love this book. It is available at the moment in hardback only, um, but it is just a beautiful book. So thank you very much for listening and we'll see you in the shop soon. Bye-bye.